Hi, I'm Angus. And I'm Tom. Welcome to Smoking Dagger Barbecue. So what are we cooking today, mate? Yeah, I was thinking we do steak. Did someone say steak? Yeah, not just anyone. This is a thick boy. How big are we talking? Oh, huge. It's a massive Angus T-bone. Being Angus, you know it's going to be good. And being a T-bone, T for Tom, you know it's good as well. So how are we cooking this, mate? Yeah, I was thinking we use the reverse sear method. Yeah, nice. Let's show them how it's done. All right, everyone, what we have here is a juicy Angus T-bone steak. So it has the distinctive bone in. So what we're gonna do is remove this T-bone steak from the packaging, see what we're gonna work with. We've got excellent marbling coming in through there. That's just the quality of the beef. We've also got a good amount of fat. This is gonna be a delicious cook. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is probably Considering the amount of fat on this side, trim it way back. By trimming some of the excess fat off, we're going to get better smoke penetration when we put this bad boy in the smoker. You're going to want to try and just ensure that you're only cutting the fat portion off. Now we're going to want to keep this fat, hold on to it, and we're going to use that for some rendering. Now for the rub today, we're going to use a Cosmos dry rub um, for the cow cover. You're looking at salt, pepper, garlic, some sugar and paprika. So this is going to not only add colour and a lot of vibrancy to the meat, but damn it's going to be tasty and nice and sweet. As we're applying the rub, we're doing so quite liberally, patting it in as we go along. Yeah, make sure you give your meat a good slap, mate. Because we're going for a Sort of a rare to medium rare. We're going to be trying to probe this at about 50, 55 degrees Celsius, taking it off the smoker at indirect and converting the smoker into a more of a direct flame. I haven't used any binder or any olive oil or any other type of adhesive for this. This dry rub should be sticking nicely to the T-bone out, out of the packaging. Let's allow it to rest for maybe 20 minutes just while we prepare the smoker. That's going to create a sweating effect where the moisture will uh, rise up out of the steak and the salt will be absorbed back into the meat.
Just tie your beard, we'll, we'll braid it. <laughs> There's nothing danger on the camera. Another successful day of cooking. Um, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, we were very happy with the results here, but as always, we're gonna go through our smoke and dagger classification system, get some taste, look, and X factor. Uh, Tom, what do you think for taste? Yeah, absolutely no mistakes here today. That's a 4.7 from me. Garlic butter on top, excellent. Gus, thoughts? So happy with the taste there. Yeah, 4.8, it was done. Pink in the middle. Yeah, crossing the outside, perfect. Yeah, it's a, it's a winner for 4.8. Nice, and how about the looks? Looks, couldn't ask for it to look any better. Um, that was visual perfection for me in a T-bone steak. Uh, I'm gonna go five out of five and top that bad boy. What about yourself? I'm gonna agree with the five. She was big, she was thick, she was juicy, exactly what I was looking for. And tell us about that X factor. Dealing with a steak that big, you've got to bring your A game, and he absolutely brought it. Uh, the plating at the end there was super special. It just, uh, it looked and tasted like a premium product. So I'm gonna go four out of five for X Factor. Yep, nothing to add for me. Four out of five, X Factor was on point. And we have final thoughts in the evening. Yeah, great cook today, great cooking process, good cut of meat. The low, low and slow, the reverse here, all went to plan. Um, I just encourage anyone out there to have a go. Go for your thoughts, mate. Yeah, don't be intimidated if you see a big uh, cut of steak on the shelf. Uh, you, know, you can smoke that bad boy and see it off. It looks great and um, sort of impressed tons of family. So, yeah, give it a go and um, hopefully get some good results. All right, guys, that's just about enough from us. It's time for a cheeky dessert. If you enjoyed the video, like, throw a comment in, subscribe, whatever you like. It doesn't matter to us. Uh, get out there, get barbecuing. Cheers to Smoking Dagger. Cheers.